of Sweeney Todd His skin was pale and his eye was odd He shaved the faces of gentlemen Who never thereafter were heard of again He trod a path that few have trod Tis Sweeney Todd The demon barber of Fleet Street Was Sweeney was quick and quiet and clean. He was back of his smile, under his word. Sweeney heard music that nobody heard. Sweeney puzzled and Sweeney felt like a perfect machine. Sweeney was smooth, Sweeney was subtle, Sweeney was quick and brass was subtle. Sweeney was quick, he was Sweeney. He was Sweeney and quiet and nice. He was a machine. He was Sweeney. 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 The tale of Sweeney Todd. The tale, the tale of Sweeney Todd. He served a dark and a vengeful god. He served a dark and a vengeful god. What happened then? Well, that's the play, and he wouldn't want us to give it away. Not Sweeney. Not Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of Fleet Street. Mr. Todd, sir. You are young. Life has been kind to you. You will learn. So, Anthony, it's here we go our separate ways. Farewell. I shall not soon forget the good ship Bountiful or the young man who saved my life. But surely we will meet again before I'm off to Plymouth. Oh, you'll find me if you want to. Down around Fleet Street, I wouldn't wonder. Until then, Mr. Todd. There's a hole in the world like a great black pit, and it's filled with people who are filled with shit, and the vermin of the world inhabit it. You, I can hardly blame them. These are probably the worst pies in London. I know why nobody cares to take them. I should know, I make them. But good, no, the worst pies in London. Even that's polite, the worst pies in London. If you doubt it, take a bite. Is that just? Drink this, you'll need it. The worst pies in London. 
Queen of Finch and Lilit Bird, Nightingale, Blackbird, how is it you sing? Oh, can you jubilate, sitting in cages, never taking wing? Outside the sky waits, beckoning, beckoning, just beyond the bars. How can you remain staring at the rain, maddened by the Teach me to be more adaptive. Oh, green finch and linnet bird, nightingale, blackbird, teach me how to sing. If I cannot fly, let me. enough to dream you happily I was mistaken Joanna till I'm with you then I'm with you there buried sweetly in your yellow Sweeney planned like a perfect machine he planned Barbing the hook, baiting the trap Setting it out for the beetle to snap Slyly courted him, Sweeney did Set a sort of a scene he did Laying the trail, showing the traces Letting, letting it lead to higher places Laying the trail, showing the traces Talking it leads to higher places Slyly courted him, Sweeney did Set it like a machine, a sort of a scene he did Running and shouting. What is it now, dear? I had him in there. Oh, the sailor burst in. I saw them both running down the street and I said to me, Phil, well, fat. I had him. His throat was bare beneath my hand. There, yeah, there, dear. Don't fret. No, I had him. His throat was there. Now he'll never come again. Hush, love, hush. I keep telling you. When? What's your rush? Why do I wait? You told me to wait. Now he'll never come again. There's a hole in the world like a great black pit It's filled with people who are filled with shit And the vermin of the world inhabit it But not for long They all deserve to die Tell you why, Mrs. Lovett, tell you why Because in all of the whole human race, Mrs. Lovett There are two kinds of men and only two there's one staying put in his proper place And the one with his foot in the other one's face Look at me, Mrs. Lover, look at you We all deserve to die Even you, Mrs. Lover, even I Because the lives of the wicked should be made brief For the rest of us, death would be a relief We all deserve to die Fast and I'm full gonna do about the Italian later when it's dark we'll take him out of the trunk and bury him yeah of course we could do that 
Don't suppose there's any relatives going to come poking around looking for him? But you know me. Bright ideas just pop into my head, and you know what I'm thinking? Seems a downright shame. Shame? Seems an awful waste. Such a nice, plump frame. What's his name has? Had? Has? Nor it can't be traced. Business needs a lift. Debts to be erased. Think of it as thrift, as a gift, if you get my drift. No? Seems an awful waste. I mean, with the price of meat, what it is, when you get it, if you get it. Oh. Good you got it. Take, for instance, Mrs Mooney and her pie shop. Business never better using only pussy cats and toast. Now a pussy's good for maybe six or seven at the most. And I'm sure they can't compare as far as taste. Mrs. Lovett, what a charming notion, well, eminently it does practical seem and a yet waste. appropriate as always. Mrs. Lovett, how I've it's lived without idea. you all these years, I'll never know. Think about how it. Long ago, the gentleman will soon be coming it's for a shave. It's also the tent. Well, how choice, oh, how rare. Since Marine doesn't appeal to you, how about Rear Admiral? Oh, it's too salty. I prefer General. With or without his privates? With is extra. What is that? It's fop. Finest in the shop. Or we have some shepherds pie peppered with actual shepherd on top. And I've just begun. There's the politician so oily, it's served with that doily. Not one. Put it on a bun. Well, you never know if it's going to run. Try the fryer, fried is drier. Nah, the clergy is really too coarse and too mealy. Then actor, that's compactor. <laughs> and always arrives overdone. I'll come again when you have judge on the menu No, we'll serve anyone We'll serve anyone And to anyone At all Of this door. <laughs> there, you'll sample Mrs. Lovett's meat pies, savoury and sweet pies, as you'll see. You who eat pies, Mrs. Lovett's meat pies, conjure up the treat pies used to be. Over here, boy, how about some ham? Gentlemen, here the bird is cheaping. Helps to keep it cheery. Toby, throw the old woman out. Oh, that's good. Bless my eyes. Fresh supplies. Oh, How about it, dearie? Here in a twinkling, twinkling I'll just confirm my theory. And Toby, what was just over us? Hidden abanic.
I am in the dark beside you Buried sweetly in your yellow hair Joanna Joanna And are you beautiful and pale With yellow hair like her I'd want you beautiful and pale The way I dreamed you were Joanna And if you're beautiful What then with yellow hair like wheat I think we shall not meet again My little dove, my sweet Joanna You're gone and yet you're mine We learn, Joanna, to say Gonna harm you, no sir, not while I'm around. What do you mean, a man? Demons are prowling everywhere nowadays. So they are, dear. I'll send him howling. I don't care. I got ways. Of course you do. What a sweet, affectionate child it is. No one's gonna hurt you. No one's gonna dare I know what Toby deserves Others can desert you Not to worry, whistle, I'll be there Here, have a nice bonbon Demons will charm you with a smile For a while But in time Nothing can harm you Not while I'm
where is she? Where is the girl? Below, Your Honour, in the care of my neighbour, Mrs. Lovett. Thank heavens. The sailor did not molest her. Thank heavens, too, she has seen the error of her ways. She has? Oh, yes, sir. Your lesson was well learned. She speaks only of you, longing for forgiveness. And she shall have it. She'll be here soon, you say? I think I hear her now. Oh, excellent, my friend. Is that her dainty footstep on the stair? I hear nothing. Yes. Isn't that her shadow on the wall? Where? There. Primping, making herself even prettier than even usual, prettier. if possible. Oh, pretty women, pretty women, yes. Oh, quick, sir, a splash of bay rum. Sit, sir, sit. Oh, how seldom it is one meets a fellow spirit. With fellow tastes. In women, at least. What? What's that? Oh, no doubt the years have changed me, but then again... The face of a barber, the face of a prisoner in the dock is not particularly memorable. Benjamin Barker! Benjamin Barker! Still alive. He was he was clutching onto me, Skirt, but now now he's finished. Right, leave him to me. Open the oven doors. No. Open the doors, I said. Don't, 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 don't touch her. What is the matter with you? She's just a miserable old big. Oh no. Oh God. My Lucy Lee. I was only thinking of you. Lucy. Your Lucy, a mad hag, picking bones and rotten spuds out of dustbins. Would you want her to know that's how she ended up? You lied to me. No, no, not lied at all. No one ever lied. Lucy. Said she was the she never said that I she died. Come Poor thing. Home she lived for a little week in the head. All she did for months was just lie there Lucy. in bed. Should have been in hospital, wound up in bed, lament step. Oh, my God! Yes, I love her, I love you! I'd be twice the wife she was, I love you! What have I I done? Mrs. Lovett, you're a bloody wonder, eminently practical and yet appropriate as always. As you said repeatedly, there's little point in dwelling in the past. God, ooh, Mr. Todd, leave it to me. Is learn forgiveness and try to forget that life is for the alive, my dear. So let's keep living it. Just, Just keep, keep living, living it. it. Really living it. No! No! Cake, baker man, bake me a cake. No, no, bake me a pie, and I will sigh if the crust be high. Mr. Todd, it's the old woman. You've hurt her too, have you? You shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't hurt nobody. Pat him and prick him and mark him with B 
and put in the oven for baby and me. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. His skin was pale and his eye was odd. He shaved the faces of gentlemen who never thereafter were heard of again. He trod a path that few have trod. They Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of Fleet Street. He kept a shop in London town. Of fancy clients and good renown. And what if none of the souls were saved? They, they went, went to, to their, their maker, maker impeccably shaved. By Sweeney, by Sweeney Todd. Hearing the music that nobody hears. Sweeney waits in the parlor. Sweeney lives on the office floor. No one can help, nothing can hide you. Isn't that Sweeney there beside you? Sweeney wishes the world away. Sweeney, 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 Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. Attend the tale of Sweeney Todd. He served a dark and a hungry god. He served a dark and a hungry god. To seek revenge may lead to hell. But everyone does it if seldom as well. A Sweeney. A Sweeney Todd. The demon barber of feet. Thank you.